Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what killed the comic book industry. Hello there, and welcome to yet another video. So, uh, the 12th issues maxi series called Batman Catwoman, written by Tom King and Clayman, is coming out this month. And what it is, it is basically a closure of the Tom King's run on the Batman title which had to be interrupted by the company because Tom King was incompetent and he brought too much of his own anxiety and depression into the work of art that isn't his property but the property of DC Comics and the sales went low and people didn't like it in general. So what they allowed Tom King to do is to finish his run, his vision of a Batman um, in these this this 12 issues maxi series and uh, for some reason they are now getting rid of the evidence because I couldn't find uh, an official picture of this anymore and I was looking for it like for an hour for a, a, a um, half an hour on the internet right uh, this promotional poster for this maxi series which says their past their present her future, which only and once again points to the fact that Tom King is doing uh, what everybody in the comic book industry is doing, and that is basically demasculinizing comic books, getting rid of the good old traditional archetypal male superheroes and putting the matriarchy on, uh, you know, in their in their place, and for no reason really other than i don't know they might feel better about about themselves or that they are just simply afraid that they will lose their jobs now let me tell you honestly in you know the truth is women don't really care about comic books it has always been boys business you know there have always been more men more boys reading and enjoying comics than women so Pleasing women in the comic book industry field is, I think, absolutely redundant and, um, well, it's just unnecessary. Uh, but it is what it is, and Tom King will continue doing so until DC Comics is finally shut down and dies. Um, but what is also very interesting is that he mentioned on his Twitter that Batman and Catwoman will fuck in Batman and Catwoman issue one. So because he was asked by one of his, well, readers, apparently, whether we will see any development in uh, the relationship between Batman and Catwoman, and um, he just said, yes, they will, Batman and Catwoman, fuck in this. Yeah, as if we cared, really. And then he deleted the tweet. So it just might be that DC Comics told him, all right, man, just, you know, don't don't write things like that on the internet. We are talking about Batman. We are talking about a character who is our property and who basically, you know, is still for children. So just shut the fuck up, please. Right. Uh, not mentioning the fact that Batman and Catwoman had history with, you know, sexual intercourse in the past. She doesn't look too excited here. Uh, no, I, I actually read this comic book when it was coming out uh, in the um, New 52, and it was quite good. But, you know, this was just the first couple of pages, and then the Catwoman title was actually quite good. But that was, you know, that's the matter of the past. Um, but this is a summarization of what the upcoming Batman Catwoman issue 1 will be about. Um, and it says, At last, Tom King returns to the Rocky Romantic Saga of Batman and Catwoman with his heroes and crisis collaborator, superstar artist Clay Mann. Echoing plot points from King's epic Batman run, this sweeping tale is told across the three timelines of the past, when the bat and the cat, oh my god, yes, he was doing that all the time in his run, Batman and Catwoman were, Catwoman were just conversing, just talking to each other. Whether they were jumping from rooftops or just lying on the beach, but they were talking with each other and just calling calling each other bad. Cat, I love you. No, I love you. But nobody understands me. I do understand you, bad. Cat. Ugh. Jesus. Bloody fucking Christ. The present where the union is threatened by one of Batman's lost loves. 
and we will get to know who that is, and the future where the couple have a happy life and legacy, including their daughter, H Helena, Helena, maybe we should pronounce it Helena, so it rhymes with Selena, I don't know, the Batwoman, so his daughter will become a Batwoman, alright, and as the story begins, after a long marriage, Bruce Wayne passes away, which frees Selina Kyle to settle an old score. At every stage of their relationship, Bruce and Selina have an unwelcome chaperone. Uh, the Joker. Oh, and that lost love of Bruce's? It's Andrea Beaumont, a.k.a. Phantasm. Plus, yes, they fuck. So, not only they are going to milk uh, just what, one of the greatest stories about Batman ever told, and that is The Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, which is a, an animated movie by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini. But they are going to kill Bruce Wayne, of course, get rid of him, right? He passes away, hence her future. And it's going to be about Catwoman, mainly, right? And I just wanted to show you some pictures. So this is Andrea Beaumont, right? Um, freaking pop-up ads right and um this is what, what you know the cover will look like with the logo and all so what can we look forward to uh nothing new really if you've read batman's uh, i mean tom king's batman run you know that it's going to be mainly about catwoman saving batman's ass all the time they will fuck once then Catwoman will be saving Batman's bottom or bottom all, all the time while he'll be crying, you know, that he's depressed, and then he'll die, and she will be the hero of the comic book. So, no, thank you, no, no, this is not for me. I'm going to go and read some of my old comics about Batman, written by competent writers. What do you think, my friends? Let me know in the comments down below if you share my opinion or if your opinion differs in any way. Oh, Jesus. Bye.